See, I like being able to find a way, I'll find a hole out by aiming in that exact situation, you know? All right, maybe I should go up and get the glove and maybe put this ring in the bucket? Me the glove of power. All right, we're 10 minutes into this run. Last run of the day, gang. Tamagotchi did not seem to be designed for working adults. I remember I was working in a call center when I had mine, and multiple people, like in the office, were bringing them in and, like, taking care of them in between phone calls. Ow. Oh, you were working in a toy uh, in a toy store at the time? Oh, funny. 6% move speed and regen. Hmm. Let's get it. You had to sneak on yours into school? You didn't have any electronic, you weren't allowed in any electronic games like that in school? Sniped by those pink mages. You stop. All right, your shield's gone. the treasure here please get out of my way thank god um we'll go with ring blades additional attacks what whoa the crit chance though oh it's a tough choice hey stuff you gotta keep yours hidden in the little tote under my desk for holding books how how funny was there a way to silence silence them? I can't remember. You must have unlocked multi-hit on the warrior. I'm gonna have to do some warrior runs tonight. Oh my god, how funny. 
You never see that one? I'm gonna go with multi-hit, 10%. There we go. I feel like this is working pretty good so far. All right, let me go up and get this hand. 20% crit damage bonus. Yeah. You know what, despite doing well, I can I can tell this the archer is a lot more fragile. Because my life is very low and I don't feel like I've been getting hit like too too often. Ah oh, shit, I just got hit. Love is over here. There we go. Whoa. Uh, okay. I'm getting a lot of <laughs> level ups here. Um, this is fun. Plus 0.2 projectiles with the main weapon. my screen. 8% attack speed. I'm gonna do... I really want plus 8 attack speed, but I think I'm gonna do this because it's gonna give me movement speed and health regen, and that'll keep me alive hopefully a little longer. treasure here somehow. Come on. Give me that. I have those. Plus three defense, plus block strength. All right, I guess I'll take the helmet because I can equip it now. And you know what? Some Having some defense isn't bad. All right, now let's get to the well and put this ring in there. Thanks, Markwood.
Richardson, how would you rate this game over other auto shooters? Uh, I haven't I've, I haven't played it a ton, but just in this first few runs, um, it's really good. It's and this one is not. There is an option to turn on auto shooting. This one I'm actually aiming. You can actually aim um, your weapon. Whereas like Vampire Survivors, you don't do any aiming. All you do is move. Um, I will say though, I've enjoyed all of the ones that I've played in this genre. I really like Army of Ruin. Vampire Survivors, obviously. This one, Brotato is fun. Like I like them all. Do you all ever get so obsessed with a TV show that you dream about it? That's me and Star Trek Voyager. I got Azari into Star Trek Voyager. I'm so excited. She's already in like season three. This one has some nice subtleties, like the manual aim that are really nice. And I like, uh, I think the loot is pretty good too, Sparkwood. You get off the bosses. I'm gonna go with more crit chance. Like the build we got right now, this is crazy. What's my crit chance? 50, half of my shots. And then half of my shots do double 200% uh, damage. That's a little ridiculous. Look at all those, all the red numbers are the crits. In one run, I just got that. Yes. Problem is, I'm so fragile. I'm fragile. I must be Italian. So I'm gonna have to get rid of this though. Ah, oh, that sucks. But I wanna be able to start runs with 10% base crit chance, right? That sucks. Yeah, I actually weakened myself for future runs. I gotten, I've gotten Arcane Splinter up to three before, right? I'm just gonna go to Quick Hands four. You got that ring too and it made you sad after to put it away. I know, but then then you'll get it for all the other runs.
Man, this sucks. I feel like this is a really good build, but at any second, the whole run could just be done. Yep. Like, I'm very, very... No defense at all. Okay. Affects the duration of abilities and or summonings. I don't have anything that can summon. That's interesting. You guys are all talking about Star Trek now. Uh, threading the needle. I think I need health regen. Ooh. Hit me. 36 health. Whoa! You can create openings in this like you can't do on Vampire Survivors. Oh, this is it. I'm get one more level. Um... I guess we go for the fire rate? No, that's phantom needles. 20% crit damage bonus? Let's make phantom needles go faster. mini boss is still here. Here we go. Come on. Don't teleport. Don't teleport. Let me kill you. These slimes. Green slimes leave puddles on the ground. I got a carrot. Oh no! Yes! No, yes! There's a lot of no and yeses going on. Um. Same. I think I'm gonna die. Cane Splinter Four. to get that ticket. Just a question. Twenty 
20% damage or attack speed on the splinters. I can't get around to this stupid scroll! So this is, these are upgrades for these, right? If needles could still hit more enemies when the maximum range is reached, they deal their remaining damage as magic damage in an area around them. Let's try it. Okay. Oh God, it's Mr. Psychopath. They are slicing me. all the damage. I feel like my, my normal attacks were doing tons of damage. So what is this? Is that my normal? Yeah, just my bow. Look at that. 1800 DPS. Actually, the needle, phantom needles were doing almost as much in terms of DPS. Not bad. Not bad at all. Return to the camp. I, I didn't unlock a new hero, though. Interestingly enough. I do have some more points, but it's going to cost me money to buy the ring, right? Yeah. 2,500 gold to buy that. But then, when I start a run... I could start with 10% crit. Milestones. Kill a total of 10 bosses. Unlock trait stance proficiency. Rewards a thousand gold. Trait spin and puncture. Oh, this unlocks the cleric. Defeat the lich. Ah, uh, okay. Unlocks character the exterminator. Kill 1,000 enemies in one visit on the Ember Grounds. You get the exterminator. Okay. Neat. And this unlocks the Warlock. Okay. Defeat the Worm Queen. Sweet! Oh, man. I think we're going to wrap it up there, though, gang. This is a lot of fun. 74, 74 by all these guys. Thanks, Gigabomb. Thanks for the 74. Hey, Dino. So this is Halls of Torment, gang. It's in early access. It's only five bucks. Vampire survivors like. Check out these reviews. Overwhelmingly positive. With uh, a few thousand reviews in each bucket there. By the developer Chasing Carrots. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Thanks to Evil Twin Link for um, recommending it. Um, Why not give it a try? Five bucks. Can't beat that. 